The FIFA 22 market at the moment is in a little bit of a state. It didn't actually recover that much and it's not really looking too good for Monday and Tuesday. We're going to be talking about what could potentially be happening in these next few days. This is my transfer list. I did flip last night a couple of gold cards that was actually working and we're going to be talking a little bit more about them because I think they could actually be potentially some low-key cards that you can be making some coins from if you are going to be flipping in these cards in Instead of investing because I don't think investing is going to be the best move and we'll talk about why potentially heading into the future of next week if you take a look at these cards I did get a couple of triores here I think if you're making even a tiny bit of a profit in this market, you've got to just take it. I'm probably going to try and sell these cards later on tonight if he's going to be going up, hopefully to around 40k, something like that. I think he's he's heading towards that price, hopefully. I think for these for these cards here, I do think that there was definitely a lot of supply from the no loss glitch, other things like that. Some of these cards just hit too low of a point. For example, this Vidal. If you take a look at this Vidal, he was around 77,000 coins. I think people agreed that was way too low and now he is rising to around 82k. I hope in the best case scenario, I think this card makes it up to around 85k. I would be excelled if he goes more than that. But I think at 85k, if he goes up to that, that is quite good. That would have been a nice flip if you bought him at that low point and then sold him later on. In terms of keeping this card longer than, like we were saying, 12 hours, 24 hours in yesterday's video, I honestly don't think that's a good idea. I think we are constantly getting promo packs from the market, even though for champion supply is going to be ending, you could say maybe there's not going to be too much supply onto the market. EA are just randomly dropping these and I don't think you should really be trusting them not to be supply. I think somehow there is still going to be some supply in the market, whether it's going to be Champions League marquee matchups on Tuesday. I'm not too, too confident that the market is going to be doing quite good. I'm a bit worried about buying these cards now and trying to keep them into going into next week for Monday and Tuesday. My best advice, I would say, and the, about the market, what is probably going to be happening, I would say try and liquidate your coins. Even now, I'm currently just listing some cards. I'm trying to get them at lazy listings. I'm probably going to be getting out of some of these cards. Sancho's, I've got probably a lot of my coins in. I think I'm going to be, probably be keeping them try and sell them maybe at a little bit more most of these are around 116 118k and i think maybe you just even take the loss on them we'll see what's going to be happening but i do also have a couple of gold cards here this this rash that i bought at 95k when i thought that was completely the rock bottom 95k for bruno as well and somehow they found themselves to be even lower what i'm going to be hoping just like everyone, I'm hoping for the market to go up tomorrow on Monday and Tuesday. I think that's the widespread message. I think the prospectus, I think a lot of people think the market is going to be going up. That's the insight, the trajectory that a lot of people are hoping for. A lot of people hoped for that today on Sunday as well. It didn't really happen. I think that tell isn't really looking too good for Monday and Tuesday. I don't think the market is going to go up as much as people think. I think if Rashford goes back up to 100k, that's going to be quite lucky. And I am going to be selling my Rashford confidently there, even if I'm just breaking even. Same for, I've also got some Goretzka's, other cards like that. But what I did see last night, I think just too many people are expecting the market to go up. I went to sleep, I literally woke up and the players are exactly the same price. And that is not good at all because when people buy these cards and they expect them to sell them at a profit, but they see they are at the same price, they are just going to be listing them. And because there's not many too, too many real people buying them, there's not actually genuine demand on the market, it does actually cause more and more undercutting. And that is what we're currently seeing on the market. So I'm not too confident that the market is going to be rising. If I'm being honest with you, I think Bruno Fernandes, Rashford, other cards like that, I hope, really, really hope they are going to be increasing in price, but realistically, they're probably just going to be staying the same price. I think what could work is going to be the lower rated gold cards. Perhaps again, if we see Dybala, Foden, Edim Letal maybe dropping a bit too low, if you try and do a six hour, 12 hour flip, I think that could be working. 
my advice is going to be mainly go ahead and try and flip cards instead of investing. I don't think investing is that that good of an idea. Some of these cards here, they may look way too low. Honestly, I wouldn't touch them if I were you. When I'm going to be liquidating my coins, it may look attracting to try and invest in some of these cards, but I think they are just so, so supplied. I don't think it's worth it, guys. Some people compared it to Team of the Week 10. Everyone was expecting those cards to go up. Everyone said they're way too low. I don't think this is going to be happening. I'm just too concerned with them. There's too much supply. I wouldn't really invest in any of this. If it's going to be for a 12-hour flip or a 6-hour flip, if you think Theo Hernandez could go up to 215 tomorrow, maybe. But in terms of keeping them longer than that, I'm not too confident at all. So I hope the market is going to be going up. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be a good thing for everyone. But I just doubt it because when everyone expects something to happen on this market, I tweeted it out earlier today, it usually doesn't happen. So I wouldn't rely on the market going up. I'd rely on the market staying probably fairly around the same place. I think what could be working is again on the lower rated card side. If you do see some big drops, maybe trying to flip them. But I'd only stick to cards that you do sort of know because we also saw today with this Dan Huma, he was around 90k, 95k at the start. He went up to around 110k. So many people were buying him. So many people were buying him, pushing his price up. And then just like that, everyone started to sell him. And then the undercutting, undercutting, undercutting. And of course, there is natural supply on the market as well. And now he's sitting at around 66k. If you are confident, if you're feeling a bit risky and you want to buy him and you think maybe you're going to be able to sell him overnight for a little bit of profit, you can do that. But honestly, I think keeping your coins right now, just not losing coins is honestly a W. And I think that is the best thing to try and do. What I think could potentially be working is going to be with these cards, trading with these cards, flipping them, but again, not investing. They are quite separate things. Flipping and investing, they are definitely separate. You don't want to get them mixed up. Investing would be buying this Tenali at 110 and expecting him to go to 150 next week. I wouldn't do that. I would stay far away from that. One thing you can do, because I do like these cards, I think that they are probably going to be going lower, to be honest, on Monday. Monday evening, if they are quite a good price, you could try and maybe buy them and try and flip them if there is going to be some hype for some games. For example, this Vidal, this Vidal is going to be playing on Tuesday. A lot of these, a lot of these cards are going to be playing on Tuesday. PSG, there is also going to be Liverpool. So the new, uh, the new Robertson, maybe, if you want to be trading with him. Or what you could also do is wait for these cards to go really, really low. Say Inter Milan are going to be losing against Sheriff. This Vidal could go really, really low to around like 60k, something stupendous at the actual time when everyone is selling that card. And that could be a good time to buy and then flip later on that evening. The next day, he should be up if you get completely at the lowest point. I think that would be the safest thing to do probably with these cards. And again, I wouldn't be keeping this. I wouldn't be keeping Team of the Week. I wouldn't really be too confident that cards like Rashford, Goretzka are going to be going up too much. I think it's going to be the same situation. I'm going to go to sleep. Everyone is saying that the market is going to go up tomorrow. I hope it is, but you're going to have to make that decision yourself whether you think it's going to go up or not. Fingers crossed. I hope it is, but we're going to have to see. And I think the harsh reality of this market is it just does the opposite when everyone is expecting it. But I hope there is going to be a large amount of buying. There is definitely buying power. I think a lot of people have lost coins, but there is going to be some panic buying if that buying is eventually going to be coming. But we're going to have to see. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.